And finally, in our antenna build. Let's get out to the field and make sure that every link in our car Mercury is cut to the proper length and tune it up. For those of you who understand link dipole, this is redundant. I'm showing this for people who don't quite yet get the concept. This is the end that will uh, get some paracord tied to it and it will go down to a ground stake. I'm just going up the two legs. This is the 40 meter leg. We're going to be at the connector soon. So 40 meter leg, 20 meter leg. When we wanna make this a 40 meter dipole, we will connect the ends of our wires, thus linking it. Now we're following the 20 meter leg. Here's the 10 meter leg. As soon as we connect these two together, we have a 20 meter dipole. Right now, because they're not connected, what we have is a 10 meter dipole. We're gonna get this up on the mast now and check the SWR. We're ready to erect the MFJ 1910 and get the car Mercury antenna up in the air. We're in a less than ideal situation here in the park. I'm on a hill, so I really can't get my mast up against the fence post like I wanted. I'm having to modify a little bit. I'm just gonna go straight and lean it into a tree so we can get the dipole in an inverted V shape with both legs off the ground on somewhat level area. The car Mercury is now fully erected in a less than ideal environment, right? That's what we're gonna find sometimes in an emergency situation in ham radio. We wanna be able to operate like that. The car Mercury is completely at the top with the feed line coming down 23 feet. The 10 meter section is behind this branch. There's the link that ties it to the 20 and that's the link for the 40. We'll come this direction so you can see the same thing. Can't see it, can ya? All right, I'll walk right up to it, right here. And this is the end of our 40 meter section. Nothing is attached right now. So essentially we have a 10 meter dipole. All right, our SWR dip is well below the frequency we wanna be resonant on, on 10 meters. I wanna be right in the sweet spot of uh, general phone on 10 meters. So when your dip is below where you wanna be, that means you need to shorten your antenna. If your dip is above where you wanna be, you need to lengthen your antenna. This is how you have to tune a linked dipole. You pull it back down, you shorten or lengthen your wire, you put it back up, you test it. This will be my third adjustment. I don't make antennas every day and never the same antenna twice. So I cut my wires too long and then have to adjust them to fine tuning. So I shortened twice. Sherry said to me today, there's gotta be an easier way to do this. And it's using a cam jam. Here's the cam jam. So let me just show you how easy this is. My finger will stay in one place. It's as simple as that. I just pulled a half inch up like this. All right, after multiple adjustments, we're at 1.52 on 10 meters at 28385. Uh, that's not quite as good as I wanted to get it, but I've been out here far too long today doing the adjustments. We need to move on to 20 meters and 40 meters. So on this side, we have our 10 meter section going back to our winder. On this side is the 20 meter section. You can see that I've already prepped this in the shack. So the adjustment for 20 meters is gonna happen on the other end. I wanted one leg of my 20 and 40 to be finished. Uh, what we're about to do now is not considered finished, it's field work. So we got our 10 resonant where we needed it to be. Now we're linking the dipole. And as soon as I link this end and the other end, we have a 20 meter dipole. We'll check our SWR, do any adjustments there if necessary and rinse and repeat from the 20 to the 40. All right, one side is now linked. When we get back to the shack, we'll do this with banana clips, but this is how you have to do it out in the field. We'll do this on the other side of the dipole, then we have a linked 20. On 20, we're at 1.51 SWR. You can see that I'm slightly long still. I could pull that down and adjust by a half inch. 
Again, due to time, I'm just going to roll with it today. I can fine tune that back in the shack. I'll probably just pull a quarter inch back when I put the final crimp in it. You're seeing the app there uh, once I finally figured out what was going on. So uh, I couldn't get better than 175 to one. I kept shortening and shortening and shortening and I wasn't getting any better, I was getting worse. And then I walked up to my wire and I realized as I was shortening it, I was hanging the extra length. You know what's going on here, don't you? I'm making my antenna longer. <laughs> so once I realized uh, the mistake I was making, I just folded it back on itself, put a zip tie on it. And now you do realize electrically, this is how long the antenna is. It doesn't take into account this extra leg once you fold it back on itself. And then we got that great reading at one, two to one. Here we are closing out our tuning of the car Mercury link dipole antenna. We're on 40 meters, target frequency was 7285, and we have an SWR of 1.2 to 1. You It's a wrap. We've tuned the Car Mercury link dipole antenna. We were about 1.5 to 1 on 10 and 20. Due to the weather conditions of scorching heat, uh, I decided to accept that as good enough and move on to 40. At 40, I think we got it down to around 1.2 to 1. Two quick tips. If you're getting ready to go out and create your own link dipole antenna or you're building the Car Mercury, don't use a tree. Uh, to lean your mast into. Well, that might work great for an end fed, you're popping it up, you're operating, you're pulling it down. That mast went up and down a number of times as I was trying to tune the 10 and 20 meter legs of this dipole and I kept getting tangled in the branches. I did that because I was restricted on what I could do here at this park. If you can find a place where you don't need to use a tree and you can get your a telescopy mast on a pole, that's what you want to do. It worked, I did it, it just took me a lot longer. And second, get yourself some cam jams. These worked out great. We changed horses midstream on this this morning and replaced all of the zip ties which I used to uh, tune my antennas with as a temporary hold. We replaced them with these cam jams and wow, what a time saver that was. That's always the plan for the future when I'm tuning a wire antenna and may need to lengthen it or shorten it. Talk to you soon, friend, 73.